Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. Uh, my name is Kevin with uh, Living Traditions Homestead. Today I wanted to show you a, a quick video of the newest addition to our homestead. Uh, some very ferocious guard animals that we bought to uh, be part of the uh, uh, permanent residence here. And that are that is uh, these attack geese. As you can see, they're terribly mean and they, uh, they're going to protect our property. Uh, actually, they will. They'll do a good job, uh, we, we believe. We've done a lot of research on what type of guard animals we wanted to get for the homestead, and uh, we ended up going with geese. Um, you know, they, they, they're not going to grow up to be animals that will, you know, be able to attack and kill uh, most predators, but they will make a lot of noise and, and scare things away and alert us to, uh, to any potential uh, threats that are coming around. As you can see, they've already, uh, I think, adopted me as their mom anytime I come in that they're they're right here they want to be by me so um, I don't think I make a very good looking mom but they don't seem to know the difference so we went with uh, white uh, Chinese geese um, they were hatched yesterday and we got them at Cackle Hatchery which uh, is not too far from our homestead we were actually able to drive there and pick them up uh, it's about about an hour and a half drive uh, from where we are. Uh, uh, when we got there, um, they also had uh, some baby ducks that uh, we kind of couldn't leave without getting a few ducks. So we also picked up these little guys who probably won't be very good guard animals, but we got just a couple uh, um, runner ducks. So they'll be just, you know, running around the homestead and playing in the pond and They'll be here more just for fun. Uh, in Arizona, we raised a lot of ducks on our homestead uh, for eggs and for meat. Uh, we haven't decided if we're going to do that again here in Missouri or not, uh, but we did kind of miss just having the ducks to watch. So uh, we got those four just to just to uh, have some fun with. Uh, back to the geese. Um, again, we decided to go with geese because um, we think they'll do a good job for the areas that we need. We're going to put a pair of them in our orchard. Uh, we're going to keep a pair with our goats. Um, we're going to keep a pair, well we have, we're going to keep a pair with our, uh, with our, our female goats and then we're going to keep a pair with our, with our bucks as well. Uh, and then uh, we'll probably have a pair that just kind of is free to go wherever they want around the homestead to help guard things off there as well. Um, the white Chinese geese are supposed to be excellent foragers. Uh, once they're about six weeks old, uh, they should be able to uh, eat mainly grass. Uh, we'll probably supplement them a little bit every day with some feed, uh, but for the most part, uh, they can survive strictly on pasture. So as long as we are doing our job of rotating our animals around pasture, uh, then they should be able to rotate with them and be able to survive just on the pasture. Uh, right now, we do have them on a, a chick uh, feed. It's very important with any type of waterfowl that you don't use any type of medicated feed. Uh, the medication that is in normal um, chick feed that you can get, uh, which is a uh, uh, coccidi or for coccidiosis, is actually poisonous to waterfowl. So you want to make sure you never use any type of uh, coccidiostat with uh, waterfowl. So they are doing well. We've had them since yesterday afternoon. Uh, we have them in the brooder. We have a couple uh, lights going uh, just to keep them warm. Uh, we're predicted to get another like six inches of rain tonight. Uh, and the weather is kind of cooled off again. So we do have them uh, with some heat lamps just for the few, first few days to make sure they stay nice and warm. Um, you know, we did a lot of research um, online about raising geese, but we found that it was really, there was really limited information and some of the information that was out there didn't, well, a lot of them seem to conflict with each other, so it was hard to tell what was the correct information and what was uh, true. So um, the main reference that I used for picking out the breed and, and learning how to raise them uh, was a book that we've actually had for several years, and I do pick up from time to time, and it's called A Barnyard in My Backyard, and it's an excellent book. I'll put a link to it in the description below. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon and, and it goes through you know all different types of animals especially animals that are geared more toward uh, you know smaller uh, like backyard homesteads uh, which you know we've 
We, we've got enough land to raise more things, but it's an excellent resource and it gives you a lot of great information. So um, I'll put a link to that below. But I just thought that I'd uh, give you this quick preview of, uh, you know, of the animals and we'll keep checking back in from time to time. Uh, I guess since they're going to be permanent residents, we probably need to come up with some names. So if you know any uh, good goose names, uh, leave them in the comments below and we'll definitely take all legitimate names into consideration. So it looks like uh, they're getting all snuggled up here and they're ready to just stay warm and have a good day inside staying out of the rain. I do appreciate you guys always coming to check out our videos. Uh, if you did enjoy this and you want to continue to get updates, uh, make sure you click subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also check out our blog. Uh, we do put uh, blog posts up weekly. Uh, you can subscribe uh, to our blog and get posts uh, by your email. Uh, also check us out on, on Instagram, Twitter, and Pinterest. And until next time, We'll see how fast these guys are, are growing up. So until next time, God bless, and we'll see you next time on The Homestead. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit subscribe. And also follow us at our blog at livingtraditionshomestead.com and on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.